friends in this lecture we want to discuss about the transmission mode myself professor vk barbute the way in which the data will be transmitted from one device to another device is known as the transmission mode suppose you are transmit the data from sender to receiver that is called as a data transmission means you exchange some information from one point to another point that's why that is also called as a communication mode and the communication mode has some direction that's why that is also called as a directional mode because the direction associated with the channel the transmission media provide the direction that's why that is called as a directional mode transmission transmission mode is divided into three category and that totally depend on the physical layer of osi model the three category is as below that will be the first is a simplex mode second is half duplex mode third is a full duplex mode you want to focus on a simplex mode the simplex mode is a communication will be takes place in un one directional that is also called as an unidirectional means sender send the message and receiver receive it and receiver receive the message but it cannot send the data that is called as an one way communication will be takes place the transmission mode is not a very popular as mainly communication require the two way exchange the data the simplex mode is used in the business field as is sell the data do not require any corresponding reply the radio station is a simple channel as it transmit the signal and listener but never allow them to transmit back the keyboard and monitor are the example of the simplex mode a keyboard can only accept the data from the user and monitor can only display the data means that will provide only output data on the screen but cannot receive the data the main advantage of the simplex mode is that the full capacity of the communication channel can be utilized during transmission because there will be the one way communication will be takes place the advantages of simplex mode the simplex mode the station can utilize the entire bandwidth of communication channel so that the more data can be transmitted at the time disadvantage of the simplex mode will be the communication is unidirectional so it has no inter communication between devices half duplex mode in half duplex channel direction can be reversed the station can transmit and receive the data as well the message flow in both the direction but not at the same time means you are able to receive the data or send the data but at same time it's not possible in half duplex mode it is possible to perform the error detection and if any error occur then it receive a request the sender can retransmit the data the example is of half duplex communication is okie dokie one party speak and other party will listen after the pause the other speak and first party listen the speaking simultaneously will create the distortion sound which cannot be understood the advantages of half duplex communication in half duplex mode both the device can send and receive the data and also can utilize the entire bandwidth of communication channel during the transmission of data in disadvantage of half duplex mode in half duplex mode when one device is sending the data the other device has to wait this causes the delay in sending the data at the right time that will provide the advantages next we want to discuss about the full duplex mode in full duplex mode the communication is bidirectional the data flow in both the direction 
both the station can send and receive the data simultaneously full duplex mode has a two simplex channel one channel has a traffic moving in one direction and another channel has a traffic flowing in opposite direction full duplex mode is the fastest mode of communication between devices the most common example of full duplex mode is a telephone network when two people are communicating with each other with a telephone line both can talk and listen at the same time then what are the advantages of full duplex mode the best both session can send and receive the data at the same time that will be the advantage and disadvantage of full duplex mode that is if there is no dedication path it exists between devices so then the capacity of the communication channel is divided into two part comparison of simplex half duplex and full duplex mode on the basis of direction of communication if you are considered the simplex mode the simplex mode is the communication is unidirectional then if you are consider half duplex mode the communication is bidirectional but one at a time then if you are consider the full duplex mode the communication is bidirectional means sender and receiver both are able to send and receive the data at the same time if you consider the comparison on the basis of send and receive a device can only send the data but cannot receive it or it can receive the data but cannot send it if you consider half duplex mode on the basis of send and receive the both the device can send and receive the data but one at it at a time right and if suppose you are consider the full duplex mode on the basis of send and receive the both device can send and receive the data simultaneously means it's possible to transmission will be takes place on, on both simultaneously and per, on the basis of performance your comparison the simplex mode performance of half duplex is better than the simplex mode then if you consider the full duplex mode on the basis of half duplex better then if you consider the full duplex mode that will be the better on simplex half duplex mode and it double the utilization capacity of communication channel suppose you consider the comparison on the basis of example the example of simplex mode is r ratio keyboard and monitor then if you consider half duplex mode on the basis of example that would be the half duplex is okie dokie then example of full full duplex mode is telephone network means uh, data sending and receiving will be at same time that's why that is according to synchronization between transmitter and receiver that divide into synchronous and asynchronous suppose we are consider synchronous transmission mode is made communication in which the bits are sent one after another without any stop and start bit or gap between them synchronous that is actually actually both the sender and receiver are placed by same system clock and this way the synchronization is achieved in synchronization mode of data transmission byte are transmitted are blocks in continuous stream of bits since there are no start and stop bit in the message block it is responsibility of the receiver to group the bit correctly the receiver count the bit and they arrive the group then 8 bit unit receiver continuously receive the information at the same time same rate that the transmitter has sent it and also listen us to the message even if no bit are transmitted then in a synchronous mode the bit are sent successively with no separation between each character so if become it necessary to insert some synchronization element with the message it is called as a character level synchronization an example if you are considered that will be the say 0 say 
वन वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन वन एंड वन जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो जीरो फ्रॉम सेंडर टू रिसीवर सिंकोनस मोड दैट एट बिट डाटा विल बी डायरेक्टली ट्रांसमिटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल कम्युनिकेशन इन सीपीयू एंड रैम एक्सेट्रा असिंकोनस कम्युनिकेशन असिंकोनस ट्रांसमिशन मोड इज मोड कम्युनिकेट इन वेच द स्टार्ट एंड स्टॉप बेट इंट्रोड्यूस द मैसेज ड्यूरिंग ट्रांसमिशन द स्टार्ट एंड स्टॉप बेट इंसर दैट द डाटा ट्रांसमिशन करेक्टली फ्रॉम वन सेंडर टू रिसीवर जनरली स्टार्ट एंड स्टार्ट बेट इज जीरो एंड स्टॉप बेट दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड विद वन असिंकोनस मीन्स असिंकोनस बाइट लेवल द बेट आर स्टील सिंकोनाइज टाइम ड्यूरेशन बिटवीन एच कैरेक्टर इज द सेम सिंकोनाइज The synchronous mode communication data can be sent at any point in time. The message sent at irregular interval, and only one data byte can be sent at the same time. The data transmission mode is suitable for the short distance for data transmission. For example, if any data byte will be say one zero 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 one zero zero one and one one zero zero one zero One one, then it will be transmitted in asynchronous mode as as below. That will add stop bit, start bit in between the sender to receiver. The advantages of the asynchronous transmission mode is is it is cheap and expensive of for transmission. Data transmission is accurately high due to the presence of start and stop bit. Disadvantage: the data transmission is slower due to the gap present between the block of data. Then, last point that would be the point that would be the according to the number of bits sent simultaneously in a network that will be divided into two parts: serial and parallel. First, serial. Serial data transmission mode in which the data will be sent serially after one after another other time over the transmission channel. Sender will send the data flow will be flow B8, B7, B6, B5, B4, B3, B2 and B1 and receiver will receive it on serial mode. It means single transmission line for communication. Data bit are received in synchronization with one another. So there is a challenge of synchronization of the transmitter and receiver. Serial data transmission system take several clock cycle to transmit the data stream. In mode, data integrity is maintained. Transmission data bits in the specified order, one after other. The transmission mode is best suitable for long distance data transmission of the amount of data being sent relative small advantages it can be used in a long distance and transmission at reliable number of wires and complexity is less and the cost is effective and then disadvantage data transmission is slow due to the single transmission channel parallel parallel in the parallel data transmission mode the mode in which the data bits are sent parallelly at the same time in a word the parallel transmission n bits at the same time simultaneously sender will send all data at the same time from sender to receiver multiple transmission lines used in such a mode of transmission multiple data bytes can be transmitted in a single clock the mode transmission used when a large amount of data sent shorter duration of time most of the used in a short distance communication n bit v transmission complexity of the network increases advantages easy to program or implement data transmission speed is high then disadvantages the tra more transmission channel hence cost is ineffective Then interference of data bits, likewise the video conferencing.